Charlene Culpepper and I teach English at North Shore Ninth Grade Center and I really enjoy having the interactive panel in my classroom and one thing that I use it for pretty much every day in class is as a classroom management tool. The one that I like is a website called classroomscreen.com and it has lovely backgrounds as you can see but uh, there are a lot of tools along the bottom that you can use. There's a clock that you can have, but I very frequently use the timer. Um, and you can see that it'll count it right down and then it will, it will ring for students to know that that part of the lesson is up. Um, another thing that I use very frequently, yes, I use it very frequently for the work symbols. And so you can let students know when they come into class is this gonna be a day where we work together? Or is this gonna be a day when we're gonna be pretty silent in class? Or are you gonna be doing a lot of uh, work with the neighbors? So I do use that sometimes just as a signal for students. Um, it also has a text feature so that you can um, let students know maybe a warm up or, or bell work that you want them to go ahead and get started on. So that's always very helpful just to have that up. And then very much like Class Dojo or other apps that you might use, it has a name generator. And so um, if you want students to really be on their toes, you can either type in a list of names or you can um, upload a list, your class roster in here, and then you can just tell it to choose. And so from this list, it'll choose a student. Um, and because it's, it's interactive, kids love to come up and get to be the next one to press the choose button. Another thing I like using Classroom Screen for is for a very quick snapshot exit ticket with students. Over on the side, there's a poll button, and when you push that, it will open up an exit poll in a new window. You type the question in, this one says, what did you think of today's lesson? And as kids are leaving the classroom, they can click whether they're on the, the frowny side or whether they're they totally understand it or somewhere in between. Kids click these and then it will, as they go out, um, and then you can show the results. Okay, so this one shows, as I just clicked there, that 25% um, were at, they, that they fully understood it and only two students or, you know, a very small percentage were at the didn't understand side. The question that's up here right now, what did you think of today's lesson? That's a default question, but you can put your cursor there and type in your own question. So it could be um, anything that has to do with your lesson that day.